What's up, everybody? This is Alex Ferreira. We are live in Aspen, Colorado, and this is my X Games Explained piece. Alex Ferreira, bring home the gold with one final run. Into the switch, double court to 80. Another huge run. Alex Ferreira does it back to back. My gold medal run from 2020, some of the emotions that were coming into the beginning of the run were, it's showtime. I'm in second. I have to land this run for first. And my coach looks at me. I said showtime to her. We give the knucks, a little head noggin. And then she looks at me and she goes, all in. All in, Alex. And I'm like, oh, geez. I know when E tells me that, I have to put every ounce of energy and I feel the nerves coming in to my hands even as I'm speaking about this now. But, okay, so I'm dropping it. And I'm thinking to myself, music blasting. Boom, boom, boom. You got this. EDM coming in. Match that transition perfectly through here. You can see it right there. There, I give it a little pump with my arms, getting as much speed as I possibly can. Then I'm coming up that wall, that perfect lift with the legs and the hips just poof, lifting out of the pipe, looking down, waiting for the grab patiently. Boom, get the grab. And that's right around like 6.30 or 7.20. And then you flip around into that second flip, take your eyes off the deck and look across the wall. So that was called a right side double court 1260. So that's basically like throwing a baseball, a professional pitcher throwing a baseball with his unnatural hand at, I don't know, 80 or 90 miles an hour, something like that. That's the equivalent to what that trick is pretty much. So it's basically two flips and three and a half rotations around. So then you're coming in and then I'm thinking here, all right, nice steezy, just try and be as calm as possible, ride the transition very nicely. You can see that I'm on my uphill edges. That means the right side of my skis edges. Getting a lot of speed through there. Lifting into the sky. Another huge hip movement. Just like boom, 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 boom. Keep it going. Keep it nice and straight and tall. And then you're coming around. Grab with that left hand. I actually got the outside of the ski. Typically you want to get the inside. So it's a little bit of critiquing actually. I, I don't love it. I'm not, I'm not okay with that. But uh, we'll let that one go. <laughs> we'll, keep, we'll come back for that one. And then just land high on that transition or as high as you possibly can eyes coming into that next wall so that left side 900 it's basically two and a half rotations to my dominant way of spinning so if the baseball player was throwing with his normal hand but maybe closer to around 60 or 50 miles per hour a lot slower so we're coming around into this third hit gaining lots of speed and i remember coming up the stairs actually on the practice run before the contest run before and I was looking at my coach, Ilana, and she's looking back at me and I'm thinking, oh, I didn't really land that last trick good because I did the double version of it. Should I just do a single version of it? And she was like, I was about to say that. It was, it was as if we were on the same wavelength, the same frequency. We just knew what each other were thinking and it was perfect. It was definitely the right call because sometimes you need to think smarter, not harder. It's kind of our mantra. So definitely took a little bit off of it and didn't go for a double flip, just went for the single, and this is by far the easiest trick of my run. Just lift, nice, good, grab, nice and clean, come down into the pipe again. And that's just a 540, so that's basically, it's called a down the pipe flat spin 540 Japan grab. So you're just doing one revolution around, one flip, one spin, fairly simple. The key is to make it look good and make it look fluid, the whole run aesthetically together. Coming in after that, I had only done this combo once before. I tried it the run before and it didn't work out. I'm going into this hit like, come on, this is the bread and butter, this is the money. Lift, get those hips going. Wait, 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 coming in for the second flip. Grab mute, tweak it, boom. Around, get your eyes off the deck, shift the hips, and land high on that transition switch. So that was called a left side double cork 1440 mute grab. And that might sound like Chinese. Let me break it down for you guys a little bit. So you're doing four rotations around and two flips. So you're taking off forwards, landing backwards. And you're doing four rotations in between, two flips, land, carrying a lot of speed. And what's amazing about this is the combo. It's not necessarily that trick alone, although it was pretty not a, <laughs> it was pretty looking. So you're coming in switch for that fifth and final hit. So there's kind of a lot more on the line. And you can see I'm just like holding on as strong and as much as I can, just keeping my 
glutes engaged, my core engaged, and just, all right, fifth and final hit, switch right up 10 Japan. You got this, Chow. Come on. That's my self talk. <laughs> Lift, boom, get off the deck. One flip down, grab, coming around for that second flip. And I'm thinking here, okay, get your skis around because I've fallen like that multiple times. It's like, you cannot fall here. I remember thinking that in the moment, just, you got this. And then, boom, like, didn't even bend my knees like I usually do. It was <laughs> all my energy into that that last hit and just landed. And I remember thinking, oh yeah, that's definitely first. <laughs> not to be cocky, just that's gotta be first. And if it's not, it's okay, but that's first in my heart. That's first in my mind. And I'm extremely happy with my performance. So you can see the pole spin. That's a, that's a little Alex Ferrer signature, I guess you could say. I just get so hyped, I can't, I can't hold it in. I just have to express it and I have to let the rest of the crowd kind of feel that with me. And you can hear in the video, I'll turn it up just a little bit, but I definitely give a good, whoa, a little scream, a little scream action because I was just so stoked. But those are the moments where you're just like, I can't believe my dreams are unfolding in front of my eyes. It's just the most beautiful feeling in the world. It's it's true elation. It's, it's this unbelievable euphoria that you didn't know you could do something and then you do it and you're just blown away kind of you're stunned by your own actions and i was truly stunned and i was just so happy that i was able to share that moment with all my best friends and family members it's not every day we don't have all of our contests in aspen i'm from aspen colorado so to, to have x games in my backyard is is amazing i've been watching it since i was 10 years old i literally remember sneaking out of class in middle school with my friends actually fellow competitor tornado wallace we would get on the bus and go over to X Games, and cut class, and just watch, just to get a glimpse of the guys in practice. So to have it be so special to us and mean so much to us, and then be able to actually not only be in the event, but be a true contender to do well in front of your home crowd, in front of your family and friends, that just makes it a thousand times better. I've been lucky enough to have a lot of good memories at X Games. I've competed in 10 to 12 X Games and I have six medals, two bronze, two silver, and two gold. And five of those medals actually came in Aspen. So X Games is our pinnacle event. It's our Super Bowl of free skiing. And to be able to, to win one, to actually win one, it's really, it's a hard feat. It's like, uh, it's like Tom Brady winning the Super Bowl. It's a big deal.